everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering. Today I have a new deck for you. This is a uh, red-blue deck which uh, is kind of a stupid deck as per usual but I think it could be kind of uh, interesting or kind of annoying I guess to play against. So this is kind of my take on an Izzeth deck with uh, some Enigma Drakes. I don't have the Crackling Drakes sadly. I would love the Crackling Drakes, but Enigma, De Enigma Drakes will have to do. So uh, this is a Counter and, ba and uh, Gutter Snipe Enigma deck. So uh, we uh, our goal is basically to uh, counter everything that the enemy has that are threats to us. Then Gutter Snipe, uh, preferably bef before that, but we'll see what happens. Then we also have Mirror Marsh, just in case we can get some nice combos with the Enigma Drake. And we have some Bane Fire for some burn. In case we would get him kind of low early, then we can try to Bane Fire him to death. And that's kind of the deck. Um, now, uh, we'll be playing it and see how it goes, basically. I played this deck actually a bit. I've been working on it for a bit, just changing out the counter spells, kind of figuring out what kind of counter spells I actually want in the deck. And I think I got it to quite the good level. Obviously the deck is not something that I recommend to actually play, because it is not a good deck. But uh, it is a uh, kind of an okay deck, when if you just want to do something stupid or funny. So I'd recommend it for that. Now, uh, one obvious big problem with it is the uh, lack of... Uh, wow, I should have played the blue land there. Uh, the obvious big problem is the lack of removal once things are down on the board. That is one of the biggest problems with this deck right now that I'm having. Because basically... Hmm. Uh, basically this deck is a... Kind of a big... Like it, it is very much based upon kind of being lucky in this sort of way where he hasn't played anything super early. So right now we have kind of a good plan. We have the Sinister Sabotage or the Essence Capture, probably Sinister Sabotage, to uh, counter a spell if he plays anything. Ow. Hmm. That is actually a, uh, a super good spell. I kind of would want to make maybe make a Goblin deck or something like that with that. I think that could be interesting. Just having... Uh, Covocade of Calamity and just loads of goblins that are 1 1s. That would be kind of cool. I think we want to deny this as hard as possible, so we'll Sinister Sabotage that. So, no card draw for that boy. Do we need another land? Not right now. I think we can actually put this in the graveyard. I'd prefer to have something else right now. Like a Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe is a good one. So, we can play this. I prefer we do not use that, so we'll do this instead. Boom, like that. Then we play the Gutter Snipe. And then we play an Opt, so he shoots him in the face. Boom, Sinister Sabotage. Yes, I would love some more counter spells. Now, the big threat this turn is uh, obviously if he plays something right now because we don't have mana open. Next turn, we'll save though for the Sinister Sabotage, probably. Because the Enigma Drake is just a 2-4 right now. Oh. That's okay. He, him removing the Gutter Snipe is not the worst thing that could happen. Like, Enigma Drakes are way more important right now. So we can do... I think we do want to do this. Like that. And then we play the Enigma Drake. Then we have two mana left for Essence Capture in case, in case he plays a creature. That is a good plan, I feel. I've been like extremely bizarrely lucky slash unlucky with pulling the Bane Fires. Obviously, most of the time I use these as removals, but uh, they are very good as well for killing people, obviously. Oh, fuck me. That's bad. Do not fear, my friend. I could Bane Fire him. You are capable of more than you assume. I probably should bane fire him. I 
we'll be able to do four damage with the bane fire. I guess we'll do we'll do this first. Then we'll see what he does. Okay, he let it through, so we're bane firing. There we go. You must succeed where I have failed. I think that was a good play. I think that was a good plan. Ajani is a very annoying planeswalker if he can keep it out. He actually kind of fucked this now, because his Siren isn't a 1-1 anymore, so he won't get the damage from the Calavocades. Which is uh, kind of good, actually. These guys can be super annoying. Like, I, I don't see what his deck, the plan of his deck is. I think he is some sort of, like, white soldier deck. That's what I'm imagining, at least. But right now, I can't really see it. Um, do I want to go for face? Not right now. I don't think so. We want to make sure that we can uh, fuck up that Storm Tamer. Plus, we have some mana to uh, since the Sabotage right now. So we'll see what he does. The Conclave Tribunal is such a good removal card, though. This is actually bizarrely good right now. Like, we have the perfect mana pool, basically, to Sinister the Sabotage twice, or Essence Capture uh, and Sinister Sabotage. Like, we can counterspell so hard. I think we don't want to attack. We actually want to chill uh, a bit more. Maybe we do want to be aggressive, because if we Sinister Sabotage, we will basically gain more damage. Okay, that was actually a good one to draw. The Goblin Electromancer, sick draw. Because now our Sinister Sabotage has become super cheap, plus this Banefire. I think it can deal more damage? I'm not really sure how the X spells work with the Electromancer. And that is like a... Mm. I don't I don't know how, how it works, basically. At this point I think it's worth attacking with the Enigma Drake. Because we have way more damage than him right now. And yeah, he can play like some sort of removal card right now. Which would be kind of fine, I feel. Because we have the Sinister Sabotages, at least one of them to protect our Enigma Drake. If we need to. Like I'm, I'm supposed. I'm assuming he's going to play something on my turn. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what this guy is trying to do. I don't know what his like what the point of his deck is. And that is kind of annoying. Yeah, attack with the two two. That is fine. I actually have no idea what he's doing. Sure. Looks good. Checks out. Now do I want to bane fire? How much damage? I can do six, seven, and I can bane fire for six. That would bring him down to thirteen uh, two health. Is that worth it? I don't think it's worth it right now. I guess we'll just go face for now. We can bane fire next turn. Plus we'll have the mana up for Sinister Sabotage. Exactly for this kind of opportunity. Boom. No settled wreckage for you. Thank you. Boom. There we go. That was actually a very nice turn. Very premium. Settled Wreckage is such a good card. I love that card. It is a, some very good removal. Let's just Essence Scatter that, and, or Essence Capture rather, and buff up our Enigma Drake. I think that's a good play. I want, like, what are the dead cards in his hand? Because obviously he has some dead cards. Because he is like... Like, there are some cards he has been having since the beginning of the game. 
I think it, there are some... I bet you he has some counter spells in his hand. Because he, uh, he has this blue uh, land. But he hasn't played... Like, this is the only blue card he has played. And I'm thinking if he had two blue, he would probably counter spell. That would make sense. Now the real question is, and I want to try this, so this is 5, 6, 7, 8 land. Can I do this? It does work. Cool. So that's good to know. Goblin Electromancer works with, uh, with X cards. That is actually very legit. Well, I'm not that surprised to be honest. Like. That Bane Fire really fucked him up. Um, probably could have killed him earlier, actually, if I would have known that. Ooh, Marauding Looter. Mm, kind of an okay card. Could be interesting. Now, let's do one more. One more game. It's going to be a long one, probably, because this deck is very slow. Like, this is a very reactive deck. And, uh, yeah, when you face enemy decks that or enemies that do think for a long time it takes a long time to play this deck basically this is not a good opening hand we only have counter spells well it isn't the worst actually could be a lot worse like we have the blue mana for them fuck it let's try it what's the worst that could happen right and plus we can opt early do we want an island i think we want a mountain did not gain a mountain, but we have four counter spells, so like we can fuck him up quite a bit. Reassembling skeleton. We really need a mountain right now because a lot of our like we're getting some of our key cards, but we just basically need a mountain to to be able to play them. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Now the question is, I don't we do I don't think we goblin electromancer right now because then we can't counterspell and it is very vital that we can counterspell. Especially right now because I feel like he is going to play something big next turn he could play a uh, Seraph for the scales which would be a very bad it would be very bad for us. If I remember it correctly, I think Seraph of the Scales is a 4 mana card, right? Is he like in full control mode all the time? It feels like it. Okay, then we do this, and then we do a Goblin Electromancer. This is so that we can play the Thought Collapses and Sinister Sabotage, just in case. Next turn we'll do the Mountain and the Enigma Drake, probably. Mm, nope. Syncopate, we would love that. That is actually a very good card. Especially this early. Now the question is, does he want to play another removal card to try and kill my Electromancer? That's the real question. I love the art on the isolated chapel, by the way. So beautiful. That's nice. Yeah, he actually did. Hmm. Well, he wasted two of his Mortify, which is very good. Like, our Enigma Drake is going to be quite safe, I feel like. So let's do that. Boom. Now we can cast Syncopate in case he casts a really strong creature. John is welcome. Not happening. We are not. Uh countering that. We would really need to counter that, but I don't think we can. We don't have the mana for it. Because he has one mana and he'll need to pay that to ignore the syncopate. I think it might be better to save this.
Yeah, it's better to save it. Let's take that. We need more land. There we go. And let's hit. We need to start whittling him down with our Enigma Drake. This is where like a uh, Mirror Marsh would be insane. Like playing an Enigma Drake and just getting loads of them. That, it, that was my plan with it, but it has never happened so far. I also think that doing that with a Gutter Snipe would be super cool. That would be a super cool thing. That is actually okay, I feel like. It's actually... Yeah, let's Thought Collapse that. No demons for you. I wonder if he... Hmm, because he has, like, Demon of Catastrophe. He's probably, like, some sort of... Uh, um, what did we throw away? Ixlan's Binding, that is super good. Open Graves. Yeah, kind of a good... We kind of got good targets for the counter stuff. I feel like. Um, but yeah, I was thinking... Because he is playing with a demon, this is probably just like because he has the reassembling skeleton, he can sack it very easily. But I was thinking if he maybe was trying to do a uh, Liliana's binding or Liliana's contract deck, do I counter that? I could counter that like kind of cheaply. The thing is, if I counter it, he can still just play it from the graveyard. So I think I'll do this instead. Like that. Because then he will have to pay two mana to get it out, which is like super expensive for him comparatively. And he probably won't be able to play whatever he has in the hand. That's what I'm thinking. Did he not think that through? I'm thinking that he did not think that through. Because he you can see him like looking at the card like, wait, ah crap. So I, I, I really hope that's kind of screwed him on the on the second creature there. That would be very nice if it did. Negate. Like we would really like a gutter snipe right now would be super useful, basically. We are dealing way more damage than him, but he, he is also uh, healing himself for a bit. Ixlan's Binding? I think not. Boom. I don't think... I, I think he has realized what my deck is doing, but he is just trying to, like, whittle us down quicker than we can counter. But we are... We are basically set. Like, we can play two counter spells each turn. So, I don't think he can win this anymore. Like, he has to play some really. Yeah, I actually think he's screwed. He can't win. Whatever he plays now, it doesn't matter because I can't counter it. So, I mean. Oh shit, I just realized I forgot to... Yep, I realized I forgot to uh, <laughs> turn on my mouse pointer when recording. Sorry about that. I don't know if it mattered, but uh, whatever. He has to hate me right now. I would hate me right now. I would hate the per person that played this deck. I hate counterspells, but it is very fun to play with them. It is very fun. But yeah, that was my kind of... Um, is a counter spell deck. It went surprisingly well. Uh, as I mentioned, I've been playing it for a bit, like, um, before I actually did the video. And it performed much better than it has when I played it on my own. So I guess that's good. We'll see what the deck uh, can actually do. But yeah, 
Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you like these kind of videos. And if you want to see more stupid and fun decks, remember to like, subscribe, and comment, as I said. And comment down below what kind of deck you would want to see. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.